and another twin that's awake. And this normally happens for me because they never want me to be alone. And so, while Erica is swinging, I'd like to give you guys three books that have helped to change my life and I think would probably help to change yours too. And I'll be giving different books from now on that I'm reading just because I love reading. I think reading is an excellent way to expand your mind. And I don't believe that you're ever too old to learn. So the first one is a book you guys have probably heard about before. It is Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. And if you look, I have tabbed this book to heaven, honey, because there are so many different quotes in here that are excellent, so many life lessons, so many different examples of ways that you can change your mindset. And this book is just excellent. I always read it. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I tapped it up so that I could put my own highlights. And when I need instant inspiration, I definitely come the to this book. The next book is Deepak Chopra, A Path to Love, Renewing the Power of Spirit in Your Life. This book is excellent. You know, we, um, I don't think we praise Deepak Chopra enough. And Deepak Chopra is, for me, um, a mindset shifter. And this book has been instrumental in shifting my mindset. So it's called um, The Path to Love, Renewing the Power of Spirit in Your Life, Deepak Chopra. And there are just some excellent things in here. He talks about the spirit, the spirit of romance. He talks about how to surrender, why we need passion. Just, this book is just excellent. It just, I love this book. Is attachment really love? Some of you guys may need that chapter the most. Um, I have a lot of stuff highlighted in that chapter. Anyway, let's see. The next book that I have is, of course, my all-time favorite. I jacked this from my mom. Sorry, mom. This is Marianne Williamson, Return to Love, Reflections on the Principles of A Course in Miracles, which is a book that I'll talk about in a, another blog. But this book, A Return to Love, the quote that you guys always listen to or that you hear or that you see retweeted um, or on Facebook a lot. I read this when I was pregnant. Okay, so you guys have heard that that quote. Um, let me find it. Um, the quote that you guys always hear from this book is, "Our fear, our deepest fear, is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be?" So if you guys have ever seen that quote or heard that quote, it comes out of this book, A Return to Love. And this book is old, but never really gets old to me. And then finally for today, I have been meditating for a long time. I find that a lot of Christians sometimes look at meditation as something that like defies God, which is totally the opposite. Um, there was a wonderful meditation with Oprah and Deepak Chopra that I just finished with my mom and she ended up gifting me the 21 day meditation series. I definitely think that you guys should go to ChopraCenter.com. I think that's where we got this. Um, ChopraCenterMeditation.com. And this is Oprah and Deep Deepak, Miraculous Relationships. It's a 21 day meditation and it is phenomenal. And I think that People who say, oh, I don't have time to pray. Oh, I, I just, you know, oh, it's too much. Sometimes people don't take the time to stop and be silent for even 10 to 15 minutes. If you're that person, 
I would say that this meditation is for you. You have 15 minutes every day, you, yourself, and Oprah and Deepak. And it is a wonderful experience. I recommend it for any and everybody, no matter what your religion, your religious preferences are. I recommend it. So, um, this is the guided meditation. Marianne Williamson, a return to love. Deepak Chopra, the path to love. And Louise Hay, you can heal your life. These three books are definitely must-haves for anybody that is looking to improve their own self-help or you're helping to improve the self-help of others.